Hello everyone, welcome to my Sister Wives Official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Christine revealed she's enlisted a professional matchmaker. While the rest of the Brown family were dealing with their own troubles in Flagstaff, Christine was holding court with her children in Salt Lake City. Christine and a few of her older children, including Michael T. Padan and Aspen Thompson, all took part in a night of painting together as Christine spoke about the significance of keeping her children close. She added that watching her kids become parents has been a tremendous delight in her life, but she's yearning for love in a romantic sense too. Christine revealed to her children that she took the choice to see a professional matchmaker because her track record when it comes to romantic love hasn't been spectacular in the past. Though her marriage to Cody was fruitful and provided her a family, she admitted that she wasn't exactly in a romantic marriage. She looked pleased about the prospect of meeting someone new, explaining, I want bald, tattoos, and driving a motorcycle. I'm just seeking for something Cody never was. Christine's children all looked supportive of her decision, hopeful for their mother's future. Janelle and Cody had their first post-fight conversation. Although Cody and Janelle have been avoiding each other for the majority of the time, covered on sister wives after their enormous confrontation, they finally decided Ty was time to clear the air. For Cody, he realized that the fight was a blow-up that didn't really need to happen. He planned to go into their conversation as clear-headed and regretful as possible. Janelle, on the other hand, was tremendously scared to see Cody. Unsure where they stood and apprehensive about their communication, Janelle was scared that she was still too emotional for them to have a fruitful dialogue. Mary checked in about her business plans and relationship. Mary revealed on Sister Wives Season 18 Episode 5 that she will be traveling temporarily to Utah for her business. She was frank about her connection with Cody, revealing her anxieties about moving away from the family ranch in Flagstaff, even temporarily. I'd like my relationship with Cody to get to a place where we have— like a good marriage relationship. But that's not where it is right now, Mary stated. I feel like when I tell them I'm going to be moving my business up to the B&B, &B, he's going to interpret that as me being done with this relationship. That's not where I am. Cody and Janelle were awkward around each other. When Cody and Janelle first sat down for a lunch together, it was terribly awkward from the outset. Cody was definitely more receptive to talking than Janelle, neither knowing the best approach to get the ball rolling when it came to truly discussing what had happened between them. Cody tried to open up with Janelle, but she was too closed off for him to start sharing. Janelle, who extended the olive branch to Cody that they both did our fair share of screaming, implying they were both to blame for how unpleasant the conversation had gone. Cody came in swiftly to defend himself, sharing he was embarrassed about my behavior. It was evident that Cody didn't feel good about his reactions in the fight with Janelle and knew that he'd made her uncomfortable with how forceful he'd gotten. He continuously claimed that his divorce with Christine left him feeling triggered by whatever disagreement he was having, and though that wasn't Janelle's fault, he didn't know how to deal with it outside of taking his anger out on her. In a rare moment of clarity from Cody, it was evident that he recognized he'd been much too tough on Janelle and hadn't offered her an emotionally stable place to express their true difficulties with him. Janelle and Cody both admitted they weren't entirely right. While Janelle felt firmly that the dispute was more on Cody's shoulders than her own, she was clear in the fact that there were two sides to the issue and Cody couldn't take the blame fully. It was ugly and sad, Janelle said of their dispute, finally open to talking with her husband about the concerns rather than keeping them to herself. Cody, for his part, took the most of the responsibility and tried to defend his conduct. I am realizing that I am morphing or transmuting grief into anger, Cody stated. He mentioned that he's been feeling incredibly triggered, but it isn't Janelle's fault, especially in the time of confrontation. I realize that I'm just not a safe place for you to have a conversation, just one trigger after another setting me off. While Janelle seemed to already grasp that it wasn't only the issue at hand bothering Cody, she didn't have much sympathy for him about the troubles with Christine mingling with his own issues with her, noting that by now he should know how to separate his marriages. Janelle told Cody she wanted to stay separated. Janelle noted that while she was feeling better about her situation with Cody, it was evident to her that being separate was the best option for now. 
I really do think I want to stay separated for now, Janelle said with a stunned Cody. Just know that I need to be separate right now. I still have a lot of affection for you. Although Janelle felt comfortable with the dialogue between herself and Cody, she wasn't ready to move forward one-on-one -on -one yet. She offered counseling for the two, and Cody was quick to agree through his disbelief. I'm sort of surprised that she doesn't want to reconcile, that she wants to stay separated. Cody shared in a sister wives interview section. He went on to clarify this isn't the first time he and Janelle have been separated. We've been separated, two or three times in the past. I always felt like that was because she couldn't manage the connection with her sister wives, I never felt like that was about me. It seems that for the first time, Cody may genuinely be taking the blame in a hard issue in one of his marriages. Unfortunately for Cody, it may be too little, too late. Cody and Janelle admitted they missed each other. Though the verdict wasn't the best for Cody and Janelle, who will continue to be separated on Sister Wives season 18, it wasn't all terrible news for the duo. The duo came to a point where they were able to properly communicate about what was going on between them, and even seemed loving with one another by the end of their session. Janelle said that she actually does have love for Cody, adding if there was nothing going on but he and I and we were on some desert island, we would be great, but life is not like that. Cody, on his part, tried to comfort Janelle about the future. You and I are married, he explained, you and I are going to work this out, there will be a safe space here. While the talk went well for Janelle, Cody stated that it wasn't the end he'd been looking for, revealing, it went better than Janelle expected, but I thought we would reconcile right here. Janelle concluded things off seeming hopeful for her future, with or without Cody. The Sister Wives actor said that, if Cody wanted it, I might maybe try to work on it. But if he doesn't want it, I suppose there's something greater for me. They both hope for greater good. Mary Brown the third wheel with Cody Brown. Cody Brown and his sole remaining wife, Robin talked with his ex-first wife ahead of the holidays. You might recall in season 18 that she felt embarrassed about who might enjoy Thanksgiving with whom. Well, it finally seems to have dawned on she's been hanging around like a spare part for years. In that talk, she said, I'm like the third wheel, cause I'm just here. I don't know what to do. Recently, Sister Wives star Mary Brown stated that she suffers from too much jealousy. Speaking with People magazine, she remarked that as she grew older, it became more difficult to accept the other women in the polygamous marriage. Perhaps so, but she only finally went after Cody instructed her to hit the road. In reality, she revealed to Robin that it wasn't her choice to quit the spiritual marriage. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.